everybody, Mark the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm back with another stalking bug. Uh, it's a pearly white chomper, new pearly back on it. It's a very, very simple fly. It's based on the, um, well, it's a chomper, which is fly like this. I just knocked one up just to show you. Um, it's probably the first fly I ever tied, it was in a book years ago. You never really see folk fishing them like the sort of standard version anymore, but they had their day. But this is sort of, it survives among the stalking community, I suppose you would call them. Um, and these wee bright flies that you can drop in front of fish. So, as always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content and be entered into the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos, that's all I appreciate it. So I've got a size 12 Camazan B175 in my vise. Um, I've only ever tied these in 12s. Uh, I'm tying them for a guy that I've... I basically tie them for him every year. Um, and it's always just twelves. He swears by them, and I've leaded it with some O two O lead wire, and I'm just coming along here with some white thread. Now this is Vivis Ten O, um, and I'm using it because it's fluorescent. The white uni thread's no fluorescent, uh, but this is. So you get a wee hot spot at the front and the back. I'm just running on my thread on right, that wet glue and then I'll tie in my shell back which is just a wide a number 12 or something pearly mylar you could go a bit wider if you want it but you don't really need a big wide back on it so I'll just catch that in And I'm going to fold back the waist piece just to sort of smooth the junction a wee bit. And I'm just using my material just to increase this back piece. Now I put a silver wire rib on it just to protect it because the body's made of ostrich, which is not that durable. And the mylar breaks relatively easily as well. So just tied that in the length of the body and as you can see I've made my wee shape at the back, the front as well and then I'll get my ostrich, I'll just get, I don't need a lot, just two or three um, strands and I'll away the tips just catch it in. Tidy everything up. And then, just to help with the durability, I'll just twist it around the thread. Just wind it. You need to twist it again, just twist it again. And then as you come to the front, you can let go of the ostrich and take a lock and turn the thread. Just sweep everything back. Take your thread back. And you can see you've got this wee white Basically, I just lick my finger, just separate the ostrich across the back, however it wants to sit. Now I'll take my flashback over. Catch 
wedge it in two or three turns fold it back I'm going to put a half hitch in in case I bump, bump my my bobbin when I'm winding the rib trim away the waist and then I'm just going to wind this forward try to get the spacing relatively even you could use nylon but I like the wire so when I catch that at the front just bend it across the thread as usual then wiggle it free I'm just going to make sure that my eyes clean just bring the thread back and whip finish now you can tie them obviously different colours um, you could just use a a red thread or a chartreuse thread or something just to give you a wee hot spot it's entirely up to yourself but these wee chompers can be quite good as stalking flies I mean the guy tying these for a friend and he, he just he gets a dozen every at the back end every year and that seems to do them through most of the season but he gets a dozen of it every year you know um, so he does go through them so I hope that was useful I hope you enjoyed it if you did please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel tight lines guys bye